Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. This here's the night after last wherein I subjugate my ego to the cold hard truth of the depths of my ineptitude, mea culpas and so forth. Very quickly, patrons pointed out uh, what a potted plant the room over next could spot from a mile away, which is these here gears cannot be pinned together on account of their counter-rotating. You see, kids, uh, this, is, uh, this was a cognitive failure on my part. I blame the uh, after effects of Stupwafel. If the pinion is turning this way, this gear goes us we and if the other gear is on the opposite side it has to turn the opposite way so you cannot through pin that now the question is why in the jesus fuck would they go through all the effort of putting this counterbalance weight or this counterweight on here um yeah, why would there be two crown gears? All the extra expense. A lot of conjecture over on the Patreon page, and I think we have discovered the solution to the mystery. As you see here, as we got these differentially counterweighted counterweights, we're into a situation where we need to time this. As such, we need to either refer to a manual, which is far too much like cheating, or refer to the powers of dead reckoning. In order to dead reckon the timing of this, we need to think about how this is working. And we can hearken back to a very salient example being the two or four smoke infernal combustion engine. The only thing we can't use in this case is the single stroke engine, which of course is a rocket ship, nothing but pure power. But either way, two or four stroke, it'll get you there. Now, what we have is we have reciprocating motion that's uh, moving, uh, being converted into rotary motion. Now, this is the obverse of that in that we have rotary motion being converted uh, into reciprocating motion, but we can infer some similarities. Now, what's going on here is that we are using the counterweight of this crown gear to reduce the uh, effective harmonic of this thing chuchin to and fro. Now, in an uh, infernal combustion engine, we have a number of mechanisms to ultimately reduce harmonics, as well as, well, yeah, reduce harmonic impulses as well, uh, torque inputs and, and so forth. So we have a flywheel, which is a balanced uh, weight which just adds rotational inertia, inertia rather to the system so that it smooths out the power impulses. Then on the crank itself we also have these counterweights to uh, offset the harmonic imbalance due to the thing to the pistones chuchin up and down. Then on the front we have a harmonic balancer and that's normally a rubber damping system, a weighted rubber damping system and that limits the, the impulses, what you can't see, which are the torsional impulses inherent in the crankshaft. That's what the, the three different systems are for, and ultimately those are all for harmonic reduction. Now, in this case, we have two of these Jesus crown gears. What in the fuck for? Definitely not to increase the price, because uh, anyone in the tool manufacturer is not into increasing the price. So this has to be the cheapest solution, cheapest slash easiest solution, what that allows you to do is positively locate that pinion. It's sandwiched in there. So if you stall this out, if you jam this real hard or it falls or whatever, this pinion does not want to leap up and over and chew up these gear teeth because it's sandwiched right in there. Also, as a benefit, if you time this properly, now let's look at the timing of this. I have an idea as to how this works, and that idea is slim to nil. I really don't know. So why don't we run through a couple of scenarios, trial by fire, trial and error type deal, and see where that gets us. So let's take this, uh, what some guys have, have suggested, is that these are 180 degrees out of phase. That is, one counterweight over this way, one counterweight over that way. Now, 
As we turn, they rotate opposite directions. So now this counterweight is this way, that counterweight is that way, and that takes out the up and down vibration. So that's great. But let's see what happens to the in and out vibration. That counteracts, each of these counteract each other, and then we're still left with the in and out of this rod. So that's no good because that induces a larger vibration than we would see if we put these at zero degrees, so perfectly clocked together at zero degrees. Now, they're counter-rotating recall, so that will turn this way at 90 degrees, and that will turn that way, so that takes out the up and down, but it still allows us at 360 degrees to be dead nuts on the money, to take out that vibration in and out. So that's the way it's gotta be. It's gotta be phased at zero degrees. They have to have the counterweight in the exact same position. Now, as I said, if in, I did what I thought we could do, which is pin this to that one, she, uh, well, that wouldn't work at all. She'd be locked up tighter than a nun's habit because they uh, have to counter rotate. There's no way around that. Now, guys are asking, are, are they any fucking good at all? Well, this one, this one, I have it on good authority, should come apart like a suit on the clearance rack. In professionally, you know, turd herders and elk chickens. This one, having looked at it, it is a far more skookum build than this. This is this is very home gamer-ish. In this case, quite a bit more robust. It's heavier, and the stroke, the stroke isn't really all that long. So we'll get into that after we get it together because you need um, you need to be able to clear the gut out of the tooth. So all this nonsense about. Uh, 70% faster cutting and so balderdash balderdash you mean 70% more lego bricks on the on the schematic is what they mean and taken in its entirety the the overall stiffness and the amount of components in here as well as as the quality of the manufacturer you see that the shaft on that the other one was chowdered right up this is nice it's nicely done just a totally different level of tool. I mean, the casement, all the two, two spiral bevel gears instead of one, better location for the pinion. This is a better tool. It's, it's head and shoulders better tool than the previous model. In the spirit of just us ladies here dicking around in the shop, I appreciate you probing the depths of my stupidity and reporting back. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a voice.